Hello and welcome to BusyWorksBeats.com. Today we continue the music theory series right here at BusyWorksBeats.com slash music theory. I'm going to show you how to get a really good guitar melody going. This is from our Juice World type uh, beat tutorial that we just made. And I found a really cool pocket for a guitar. So I'm going to show you this melody technique and how to create chords and melody that don't clash. So here's the uh, reference. So we're going to mute the drums. Hold on, I muted the wrong things. We're going to mute the drums because all that stuff is background. Okay, so the trick is we're gonna play chords. So the main chords, we kinda of gotta redo this in a way. So the key was C major, which is all the white notes. And then we mapped out the triad of the chord, the simple three note chords. So the three note chords are really important here. If you wanna copy this exact mood, the chords are A, C, E, which is A minor. And I'm trying to think of a quick way to do this. Let's copy this and just paste it over to the right so you could see kind of where we started as opposed to where we are now. So this is where it all started. We started at A, C, E. Now all the notes cut off right here. This is just, let's, let's see if we can fix this. There we go. So it looked like this when we first started. Okay. And we actually didn't have one of these notes. I want to say B wasn't there or no, the A wasn't there. So it was this simple chord progression. It was A minor from the, uh, again, it's either A natural minor or the C major scale. All that means is we're playing all the white notes starting at different, whatever point we want. So we started at A. So in this case, we're, the A is the tonal center. So we're gonna call this A natural minor. We don't need to get into the deep woods about music theory. The point is we use all the white notes to map out the chord for this specific note, which is A, C, E. And we could teach you all the like behind the scenes stuff at busyworksbeats.com slash music theory. I just don't wanna eat up your time right now. Okay, so A, C, E is that first chord. The second chord is C major, which is C, E, G. Then we go to GBD, which is G major, and then we do DFA, which is D minor. And we're using a, a, a plugin called Ample Guitar M from Ample Sound. And that's how we got the, it revoices the notes. And I just thought that was the coolest voicing. It reminded me of like Lenny Kravitz. Okay, so what we did to spice up that third chord is just add another A in here because it matches the next top note of the chord. So we added that just to fill it in a little bit more. But you see, it, depending on the plugin, it can change the articulation, so you gotta be careful with that. So, you know, that note could be added or not, it's up to you. So moving back to this side of things, what we did was I changed the grid to one third beat. Okay, so I changed the grid to one third beat. So this is how you create that counter movement. You have like two things happening, but they're not clashing. So one thing's in quarter timing, one, two, three, four. Another one's in triplet timing, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And they're, they don't really clash when you have triplets and quarter timing over top of each other. So what we're gonna do now is add these moving notes. So we play the steady chords in the quarter timing. One, two, three, four. Now we're gonna do the moving notes in three. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Two. And it creates a, a nice uh, flow. And all I did was I just started with the top note of the chord and then I added the notes that my brain told me to add. I mean, there's no science. It's just what sounds good. I mean, if we had to break it down as to why this works, E to G is a minor third. You know, E to A is, what is it, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's a, major, that's a uh, perfect fourth. And then we had, you know, we could break it down into music theory and ease all day long. It's just what sounds good. So the cool thing to take away, though, is there's a pattern. So it goes, so it goes 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, okay? And I copied that same pattern all the way through. It's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, all the way through. I even copied the same exact notes. So D, E, B, C for the, so it goes one pattern, pattern two, pattern two, pattern two. One pattern, pattern two, pattern two, pattern two. I literally copied and pasted the notes. So we're gonna take out this note because I think that triggers a, the plug in to work differently.
see how that dun, 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 becomes hypnotic because you hear it so many times, but it's not repetitive because we we start off on something different. So it goes different, repetitive, and it creates this hypnotic flow. And the chords are moving. So even though we're playing the same exact top notes, the chords are moving. So it creates a different mood per the note. And it's really emotional. Even this just by itself could be the whole beat. We really don't need all the background stuff. And what I did was I just copied that and I pasted the chords into a piano. So the piano is playing the background chords. It just fills in the gaps. The only difference I did with the piano is I made sure that those top notes, some of the notes were equal between the third and the fourth chord. But this is a melody tutorial, but I just wanted to show you the importance of chords because chords create melody. Melody kind of comes from chords. So you have to learn chords first before you get into melody. We teach all this stuff in our Music Theory Essentials. Just go to busyworksbeats.com slash music theory to get started for free. And then we'll teach you along the way how this all works. But it's in our Music Theory uh, Essentials course bundle. So these, you really don't need anything else. just keeps you in a mood it's feel emotional all right so that's the key it's that quarter timing and then triplet timing on the top notes so we'll get into more melody uh you can learn so much more at busyworksbeats.com slash music theory thanks for watching it's game for busyworksbeats.com peace